Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and today I'm coming at you with another LEGO review. And this is on the Bricks by the Bay 2015 official um, event kit. And so this model is by Charles Esseltine, and this is of course a dragon. And so um, the theme this year was Monsters at Bricks by the Bay. And so of course the kit here was made um, as a dragon. And so you can see here, it's a pretty cool looking dragon here. Um, you of course have his head, the two wings, it's a large tail. Um, so definitely a lot of um, very interesting techniques used in this build. Also, um, uh, it's actually very delicate. That's the only problem as the um, feet fall off a lot. Um, the neck also separates sometimes. So definitely this is... If you have this model, this is definitely a um, display model. Um, it's very hard to play with because it will definitely fall apart. Um, of course, even the actual belly itself is a bit delicate and whatnot. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this review. So here's just a quick look at the box it comes in. Um, pretty straightforward here. It just has some uh, copyright, all that stuff. Um, Brooks by the Bay 2015. So here is the dragon itself and definitely it looks very awesome here. All right, so we'll start off here by taking a look at the head. And so it's definitely very detailed here. And so you can see here, of course, these are two separate sections here and here. And they use a lot of these type of claw pieces like for the teeth, um, for the claws. And so I think those look really nice. And then of course you have the nice flame um, coming out. And so the head also is a bit top heavy, that's another problem. And so basically the head is made of the upper part and the lower part. And they're basically connected together like plate upon plate. And so what I mean by that is like, it's literally connected like this. And then you would move it up and down like that. So also it's not terribly stable there. But of course you can see it has his eyes. And then of course um, for like the mustache or facial features it has like these bananas I thought that was pretty funny and then the um, neck here which is actually made of uh, plates which are actually um, stacked upon each other so what that means is like this so if you have two plates it's basically just stuck together like so and connected at the head and at the body so the middle section is also a bit fragile and so of course we'll move over here to take a look at our wings and so, um, of course, you have the Brooks by the Bay logo here, and it says Brooks by the Bay 2015 on this side. And so the wings, of course, um, can move up and down. So um, what they can do is like this, move up and down like so, as they're connected by ball joints, as you can see right there. And then, of course, it's made of a lot of this dark red and, um, of course, bright colored red. And I think that really looks nice on the dragon. And so we'll actually try to move it around here. Um, um, so, yeah, it is a bit delicate. So, slowly we'll move it around here. Um, just to take a better look at the actual body, you again have those type of claw pieces in the middle. And so it's the same thing. Basically, the dragon can be separated, like, into two halves, meaning, like, it's basically, um, the body is basically, like, um, the two halves which are like connected just like this plate upon plate and that's how it basically goes all across and it's connected of course by the tail and the head so yeah and of course we'll move down here take a look at of course the feet which are definitely very detailed here it's a lot of use of studs you of course again have those claw pieces um, which I haven't seen a lot those white um, one by twos with the three claws sticking out so i thought that was pretty cool and just a quick better look here at of course the eye and um of the dragon and here just to show how the structure goes all across leading of course to the tail here which is um has a use of this use of this bright orange here and this dark yellow and i think that looks really nice on the dragon and of course yeah, and so just trying to get a better look of the entire dragon here. 
a closer look at that tail or uh, the wing and how um, all the colors and used this is supposed to like represent like scales like the sharp turns of his wings and I think they did a pretty good job overall um, making this dragon so quickly we'll just try to lift it up here um, and take a better look at the underbelly here and actually that's also what helps the um, two sides of the dragon stay together but of course that is a bit delicate as well and here's just a better look at all the detailing throughout the dragon I'm trying to get the best views as I can here um, but yeah so that is our Bricks by the Bay 2015 event kit which is of course the dragon and you can see here definitely it's it does get a bit tough um, when it comes to standing as you can see it loves to slide off as they are actually here I'll show you all connected using ball joints and so that of course um, makes it quite difficult to stand here's just a better look the wing and it moves pretty um, good distance here so we'll actually just take a quick look here um, so I'll actually set the dragon down um, but yeah so it again broke here's just a look at the legs here it's not very well connected here as actually this is actually a good time to show you basically have this um, bit of a peg which just will um, stick like so but because of how top heavy the or how heavy the actual body is it does definitely collapse um, but still of course it makes for a pretty good playability and movability of the dragon here again a better look at the nice scale work with the cheese slopes so I mean all in all it actually has quite a few pieces so here's actually um, so I'll quickly put this down here but um, here's just a quick look this is the second one I have so definitely a lot of red pieces um, especially these pieces these are um, pretty cool um, they're actually found in some Star Wars sets uh, especially when making like the Jedi Starfighter as it's this type of piece here so um, it has definitely quite a um, few valuable pieces here and yeah so that's pretty much it for this review and you can see the dragon has already fallen apart so um, I'll get back to you with this belt and then we can end the video off and that's gonna do it for the review of the Bricks by the Bay 2015 event kit of the Red Dragon and so my overall rating um, of this so even though this isn't really a set um, which is available I still like to give a rating so I mean I really like how the dragon looks overall but it's very frustrating um, as pieces just fall off um, very delicate dragon so my overall rating will probably be a five um, so um, of course um, that isn't the best but of course um, I love the actually all the detailing I love how they did the scales work um, I like how it has some good playability and I mean I, I overall actually like it even though I did give it a 5 out of 10 rating but yeah so um, that's pretty much it for this so all in all a pretty decent set um, so of course once again this um, isn't the best uh, in terms of playability um, but I think it would look really nice um, like on shelves or on display um, somewhere throughout the house or in your Lego room I think that would really um, look nice um, really fit in um, be unique and it would stand out so in that way it's pretty good but yeah so that's all for this review so this is brick wizard 59 I want to thank everyone for watching and if you haven't checked out my bricks by the bay 2015 haul it's pretty large almost 20 minutes worth of hauling so check that video out and I also have the Brooks by the Bay 2015 like um, walkthroughs like um, of each day check those videos out as well in my Brooks by the Bay 2015 playlist so yeah this is Brook Wizard 59 I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time